Hello, and welcome to the show. We are here today on Forza Horizon 5 with another challenge for you. We are revisiting an idea that's filmed a little while ago, uh, the balance racing. The way this works is the first race that we are doing here. Everybody is starting off in, for this, for this event, we're in B-class cars. Now everyone build a car to the top of B-class. However, depending on your finishing, finishing position in this race, the PI for your car going into the second race will be adjusted. The top cars are going to lose PI, uh, while the bottom cars are going to gain PI. Uh, so it's going to be a bit jumbled up. We're going to see how it goes. Last time it went, it was a really rather interesting thing. I'm starting a long way back in my Renault. Uh, so yeah, I don't quite know how this is going to work with a slightly different way of adjusting the, the PI. And of course, points are going to be awarded to the races. The PI is being adjusted linear, so it's five points difference between positions. The points aren't. You gain a lot more points for winning than further down. So the championship does matter as well. It's going to be hopefully a good little series. My Renault has absolutely shot off the line. I've never used this car. I've used it once for a special custom event thing we did. I've never used it in a racing scenario and I don't know whether it's going to be any good, although it is bloody fast off the line. It's on vintage race tyres. Uh, all of this is tarmac stuff that we are doing. Uh, car is very light at uh, under £2,000 and it's 250 horsepower, which is pretty good going. Um, but it is Ooh, a little bit twitchy and sometimes has a mind of its own, uh, shall we say. And it does not get through street furniture very well because it's very, very light. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I think its rear engine is also good for traction so it gets off the line uh, really, really well. And the other rule for the building the cars as well, because there is a chance you could lose PI, you can't have a car that starts like a couple of PI off the very top of uh, B-Class, because well, then you can't lose PI necessarily. That thing is monstrously fast. Oh, it's very laggy. Uh, so the Torino, I mean, we're not so surprised. That that th I say that, it's got past. He's actually run out of top speed. <laughs> the Renault's catching a Corvette. That is not how this is ever supposed to work. We have got so much grip. I, I didn't even want to go to the inside of the uh, Oldsmobile there, but we've got so much grip that uh, we just naturally ended up there. Uh, I don't know if I want to go around the outside of the big boat. Uh, can we get the power down? Oh, the Volvo is going to have a look to the inside, and the Volvo is past. I mean, I've got the acceleration, but I'm just... I'm a very little car against some b very big cars. Ugh. And we are kind of out of uh, out of position at the moment. There's an MX-5, I think. Is that coming to fight back? Oh, I'm a little out of shape over there. That's where my car doesn't do so well. It can get a little bit sketchy on the handling front. Uh, when things start going awry. The Oldsmobile is going to have much bigger tyres than me. Uh, and sure enough, we are running out of grip on the outside. I'm going to have to yield. Oh. Right. Come on. Come on, Renault. Find some pace here. <laughs> We're going to clear the MX-5. That's what matters. I say that's what matters. I mean, I want to go chasing after the top cars uh, here, ideally. We will do that. We just want... <laughs> Weirdly, we just want a, a drag race. Uh, for this. We're going to be quick through turn one. The back end does its own thing. Uh, I'm always worried about the back end uh, trying to overtake the front, pretty much. That's the fun of a rear-engined car. Uh, let's get it stopped for turn one. Oh, I mean, I found this. I'm racing against a little car, one of the few <laughs> little cars that, uh, that we can have to race here. Uh, oh, I don't have the grip. We're going to well, we brush the wall. We may be more... Oh, the Toronado's found a wall. Okay, well, that actually gives me a little bit of breathing room. Oh, and then we got street furniture. Uh, I didn't say unintentionally, of course. Longboy went through it. Although the MX-5 might have hit the Oldsmobile and lost out as well. Yeah, we just can't afford to hit street furniture. We lose so much uh, with this car because it is probably the lightest thing in the field. Uh, uh -oh. <laughs> Car's behind, of course, because I'm struggling in that fast corner. Yeah, we've got the acceleration here to absolutely blitz everything, but... We do not have the grip in these faster corners. Maybe a little bit as expected. There's only so much I can do on 185 tyres, which are tiny compared to what I would normally drive in this game. This car just moves around a lot. It's just so fast off the corner that uh, it can kind of get away with it a little bit. All right, we're going to park it uh, kind of on the apex here and then try and use our acceleration. Yep. <laughs> we are just an acceleration rocket. That is pretty much what we are going to be here. Is going to be park on the apex, make it really awkward. And weirdly, I'm having to drive a Renault 8 a bit like a muscle car. Uh, which is very odd. 
Uh, there we go. Nicely done. The Volvo's, we're not catching that. That thing is absolutely gone. I think lap time-wise, between me and the Corvette is going to be really close. This is the corner here is where I have the biggest problems. Uh, if I can just hug the inside, I think the Salik is going to struggle to pass us. Because, again, we're going to hold it up all the way through the corner, and then we're just going to bomb away. Now we've got on to the straights. One more time around. I mean, the gap stabilised a little bit between me and Gliska. Uh, we kind of defended where we needed to. Uh, we catch Longbow in places, and then Longbow pulls away in others. Oh, Reno! <laughs> this is so unlike a normal car for me. It's so oversteery. I could have gone aero, but I didn't... Maybe, maybe I should have done, because we've got so much acceleration. Um, oh, come on, get going, Reno. I think Gliska is waiting, actually. They just missed the braking trying to pass us there. Um, and got a little too deep into that corner. Uh, unfortunately, it has got Blakey past. Now, if we can get it right through here... Oh, no, we've got another bloody brush on the wall. We've got a, a, just enough of a bump. Uh, from, it was a tidy bump, but it was enough. And it just twitched us sideways into that one. Ah, oh, well, this has not been a great... Annoyingly, it's been a very unfortunate end to this uh, first race. We are going to get very sideways there. Uh, that is not what we want. The Oldsmobile is going to be stuck behind us. Uh, or maybe not. The Oldsmobile is probably the only thing that can outdrag us as we head around the final corner. Who is going to win this drag race to the line? I think we might get Rusky here, possibly. I don't know what way that one went. Rusky was lagging a bit, so what we saw on the screen, God knows what the finishing is. We're seventh. Ah. I'm very disappointed in that first race. We should have really been third in that. Uh, we had good pace in that car. Can't match... Couldn't match the Volvo, uh, however, uh, I mean, we, we could defend just because of our sheer acceleration in that. Um, yeah, very disappointing end. However, that was, um, that was a, uh, it was a start. It was, it was a start. We had into the second round of this little tournament. Uh, I gained 5 PI on that, oh, well... I had gained five. Oh, we've got a few of these that have done this. It was bloody... So I built it in the garage, it says 705. It was fine, and Amy's done exactly the same with the MX-5. It was a five when built in the garage. Sometimes it's like a decimal point system. Uh, so we've slightly unintentionally cheated. Uh, we will get a ridiculous launch, because I know how fast this thing is off the line. It is a rocket ship. Um... Yeah, that was fine in the in the bloody garage when I built it. Um, yeah, there's a decimal point to the PI system that does seem to sometimes show up slightly differently from races and uh, when you build the car. I'm glad I'm not the only one to have done it. Um, anyway, yeah, points have been adjusted. So Ollie winning with that Volvo lost a whole load of points. Danger Man uh, ending up sixth. They beat me in the drag race to the line. Uh, stayed essentially neutral. Whereas there are some cars that have gained a lot of PI. Uh, for me, I literally got one upgrade on the ignition system. So I got seven more horsepower, which is probably dangerous with this. Uh, and a slightly lightened drive shaft. So we are more powerful and a bit lighter on what was already quite a death trappy car. Uh, it's not an easy thing to drive at all, this. Um... It has a lot less grip than a lot of the other cars in the field. I mean, vintage race tyres, admittedly we are very low A-class at the moment, but uh, vintage race tyres is not normally what I would put on an A-class car. B-class is really, I say, B-class is really the limit. But if we do end up gaining more PI, I am uh, so might be a little bit stuck on the tyres. We might not gain enough PI to swap my tyres out. Ewan, of course, so we know Ewan disconnected from the last race. I don't think it was doing great with that Porsche anyway. So Ewan is up to 730 in terms of the PI. So that Porsche is the highest PI car in the field. Here, uh, we are going to get a little bit of a wobble through turn one. Uh, that's fine. Uh, get out the other side. So, I mean, I'm almost not... I'm not going to race the Porsche ridiculously. If I can beat it, fantastic. But sometimes you have to pick and choose your battles. We will see if we can beat the Porsche. Porsche is running aero, so that might struggle with top end. We might have the Porsche... Despite the fact that my car is shaped like a brick and the Porsche looks a lot more aerodynamic, uh, the Porsche might be... Oh, uh, slightly slower than me in a straight line because we've got so much ridiculous levels of power in this car. Although the Porsche will probably be a little bit more controllable. We are blasting away from the rest of the field, though. Oh, although it's so sketchy coming through here. Uh, my car is so difficult. My car is very sketchy to drive for me, which actually makes it quite difficult for others to predict where the hell I am going to be. Uh, Ollie is, <laughs> considering the Volvo won last time out, that thing is still quick. 
it's down 30 PI on me. And a lot more than that on you. Uh, 60 PI on Ewan? Uh, 55 PI on Ewan, I think. Um, that is, yeah, doing very well up in fourth. And it's going to score good points for a fourth place finish if that is where it ends. Uh, we will try desperately to get this car nicely through all of this as we come out the other side. Yeah, it's fine. We will try and chase down Ewan if we can. I think this is more going to be a consolidate second. Sometimes, yeah, you just have to not, not, it's not accept your defeat. You have to realise what you're racing. I could go crazy trying to catch that Porsche, but it's just so much more composed than I am. If Ewan makes a mistake, you actually had a very big wobble through there. I had a very big two-wheeled moment which I didn't necessarily want. But if you make a mistake, absolutely, I will be there to pounce and take the victory. Uh, ooh, that was a little lock-up on the brakes. This does have race brakes, uh, by the way. I should add, it's just got very small tyres. As I said, 185s all around are tiny on this game. Uh, the Volvo is up to third. That is scary. But the Volvo is going to lose a lot of... The Volvo is going to be really low on PI for next race. Because <laughs> a first and a third is a big chunk of PI. It's going to be mid B class. Um, so, yeah, it'll be interesting to see. Uh, you can score points. I mean, that's what I did when we did this before. I had as a Fair Lady Z. I actually won the first two races. So I I was so far down in PI, and then you, you struggle to score points later on. Um, but you do have a good chunk of points to fall back on. Uh, the, as it looks like for me this time around, we're going to be sort of roughly in the middle of the, the PI range, shall we say. An, an iffy first race, a strong second race so far, if I don't crash it. Uh, the Renault does have a want to go onto two wheels, uh, which is a bit scary through here. Don't really like that want, and I don't really like the street furniture. Uh, the Volvo is still definitely a lot better composed than I am. It's not got the straight line speed, uh, which is where we're making our lap time, but you can see it in the slow quarters of Volvo much better. Uh, in fact, we are probably one of the sketchiest cars in the corner. Uh, Blakey's not had a great run. Longbow's not had a good run with the uh, Corvette here. We do so much through that final section. I just can't... I have no trust in the car, and I just can't carry the speed that likes the Volvo and the Nissan can uh, through there. Uh, we head on to the final lap of the race. Yeah, we've got so much acceleration. I mean, we know Ewan's going to be quite fast with that Porsche. It's another very, very light classic car uh, with, I presume, now a good chunk of power going on in it. Uh, we will have to be a little careful with the throttle. I can't be too aggressive with this. It will move around. It will try and kill me, basically. Uh, you are well out of range of that Volvo. Don't know. And this might, this might be able to find a way past in these final couple of corners. Don't do anything stupid with the Renault. I'm kind of happy just to almost cruise home in second at this stage. Uh, we fought as long as we could against that point. It's, still, it's fun to see this thing eviscerate almost everything in a straight line. It's not what I expected when I built it as such. Uh, ooh, I guess as we get for vintage race tyres, we just get so much power to weight ratio going on. A little bit better through the final corner for me here. I will take that as we accelerate away. Uh, go on. I kind of want the Nissan to, to beat Ollie because I want. The <laughs> it looks like Danger Man might do it. It was a great battle over third. In the end, a straightforward second place for us. Looks like the Nissan does get it in the end ahead of the Volvo. The Celica uh, would cross the line behind them with a fifth place, I think. Ooh. Okay. Fastest lap goes the way of the Porsche. Not surprised. Sleeker was quick. Similar lap time to me, a little bit faster. Uh, Rusky was very fast with the Oldsmobile, but got stuck in traffic. Of course, the front-wheel drive is launching poorly. It's something they have to try and overcome. Better second race. Better second race. I'm pleased with that one. Uh, <laughs> All right. We've kind of recovered a little bit. Who knows what the next one will bring. We are on to round number three, the Plaza Circuit, for once. Uh, we're all the way back again. <laughs> Fantastic stuff. Um, I'm down to 680 on the PI front. Ollie's lost quite a lot uh, with that Volvo. There's a few vehicles kind of hanging around the 700 mark. Uh, Chris, from <laughs> Chris is 750. Chris is almost an entire class above Ollie at this point. Uh, this track might not be too bad for me. But having, having lost some PI, this is probably not the worst place for it. We're gonna be, we're a rocket ship on the acceleration front. We know we're iffy in these medium speed, higher speed corners, but the low speed acceleration zones we're still gonna be quite strong in. Uh, we've lost a little bit of power. I had to lose a stage of turbo upgrade, I think, on this car. Uh, so yeah, we've lost, we've lost a little bit of power. 
out of this. We're still very light. Uh, who knows, really, what's going to happen. I'm hoping we can still have a strong performance here. So Chris's Jag, we're expecting to do well here. Uh, we are stuck a smidge on the outside. The Tornado might be good with those big, big front tyres. Uh, we've got to try and get our way through the traffic. Uh, Ewan's Porsche all, lost all of the PI it gained. Uh, almost all of the PI. It's 5 PI uh, up from where it was, where it started. Uh, ow. <laughs> we, we got some assistance into that one. What we really need to do is start clearing some of this traffic. I think if we can get in clear air, I think we can be quick. We can use our acceleration. Oh, but I'm, str I'm really struggling in the traffic here. Uh, and this is a problem we might have with the Renault because we're so small and light. If we, if there is any collisions, we come off worse than anything else here, with the maybe exception of the Porsche. Um, I don't want, I don't want this. Oh, for God's sake! I've got bloody boats just pushing me around. That's really annoying. Um, we can at least outrun those two. Uh, yeah, this is this is the difficulty with the very small and light car. Uh, that is almost pure acceleration. Uh, we, we need clean air. Uh, we ha I say, we're not talking about clean air in the same way you talk about clean air with a Formula One car. I'm talking about we need to not be fighting cars to be making lap time, really, because this is so, such an awkward car to drive, um, and it's not good in traffic. So, yeah, I, I was kind. I was hoping. Oh, it's not good with street furniture either. Jesus, that was all manners of not fun through there. So we can close up a little bit here, but I don't know how I'm going to get past. Uh, we're going to try and have a look somewhere at getting past, if we can. Uh, oh, Angel Man's in a little... Angel Man's a little bit of strife there. Uh, we will jump our way to the inside with the Renault. There's kind of this secondary group, and there's a front group. Oh, no. We're going to get swamped by everything. Uh, right. Little Renault, go. Please accelerate. Please add accelerate a Volvo here. Uh, I mean, we're kind of close in PI to the Volvo. Uh, we're going to just send it to the inside. I think Volvo found the bump on the outside there, so we should clear it. Uh, right. We are back up into a ninth place. This is never going to be good enough for our championship here. Uh, oh, dear me. Yeah, this is not what we... We don't really... We needed a good run here. Well, I was hoping for a miracle performance with a car down on PI, but I don't think we're going to get that here. Um, just stuck in traffic early on. I don't know whether we have the lap pace. We've not really been able to try and find out. Street furniture is really not going to help matters, though, doing that. Ah, oh, God damn it. This has been a frustrating race already. We've still got a couple of laps to go. I mean, it's not all over, uh, but... Oh, no! Piss off game! I don't know what I'm supposed to do at that point. I, basically, the cars ahead of me have knocked over a lamppost, and I either have to take an unbelievable... I'd have to do it there again. This is so, so annoying. Like, the actual track layout... If, if we didn't have the street furniture, the actual track layout would work for this car, because it's quite stop-starty. I have good traction, because I'm rear engine. The bloody street furniture. And we're again... Uh, that one didn't seem to slow us down. It's just so erratic as to whether it slows you down, whether it does it, I know my car choice doesn't help with this uh, to a degree, uh, but still, I, I I could complain about it. It's never got a damn thing done about it, but it really shouldn't be a thing in this kind of a race. Um, and if it's going to affect, it should affect everything. It just shouldn't be there. If you're going to have it there for visuals, have it so that it doesn't have any damn impact on the car, because you wouldn't have race track with bloody lamp posts and even. And even if you're going to have it there, if it gets knocked over, have it bloody out of the way from then on. Uh, this the entire lap has been wrecked, essentially. Any chance of getting higher than ninth, I think, has been wrecked by that start. Ah. Uh, I, I am disappointed. I am very disappointed, actually. This is a good car. But, I mean, Gleska's having a similar problem behind as well with a Salika there at that time out. All right, what can we do on this, the final lap of the race? Oh, I'll get screwed. I mean, <laughs> I have to commit to where I'm turning in before I can see if the car ahead's knocked it over. Like, I can't I can't drive as if they're always going to be knocked over, because you're not going to bloody know. And if I do drive like that, I'm going to be so slow, you won't be competitive. 
Uh, this has been a race of me complaining about street furniture, but it has been a race completely ruined for me by street furniture, pretty much. Uh, the Oldsmobile is having a good run, actually. Keeping Chris at bay at the front. That is not bad going. Oh, bloody hell. See, that time there, that didn't really do anything. Uh, don't know whether... Don't know whether that one would have slowed Whisker down at all. Uh, we're going to have a slide. Yeah, it's going to be me versus the Celica, pretty much, uh, for the end of this race. Uh, we will try and get the car stopped through here. We should still out-accelerate all of this. Longbow's Corvette's not... Uh, not faring great, actually, around here, which kind of surprises me. That was more of a handling car than anything else, so I am surprised at that, struggling a little bit. Uh, we have got the straight line speed to keep ahead of Gliska through all of this. Uh, we will slow the car down through this sort of double left-hander. Uh, but, yeah, it's going to be poor. I mean, we're going to have a lot of PI for the final race, which is good. Well, I say a lot. We're back to almost where we started, basically, which will be which will be half decent, but uh, yeah, not looking good for a championship. Don't think we can win it anymore. Uh, it was a slim chance beforehand, definitely not now. Yeah, annoying race that one. Um, could have been slightly worse. Even Eve is agreeing with me on that one. Yeah, disappointed. Rusky takes victory uh, ahead of uh, Chris's and Jaguar Butte gets on the podium. Uh, ahead of the MX-5. The Chevy gets up to fifth. Ah, yeah. Frust frustrating, frustrating race indeed. Good performance, though, from the Oldsmobile, uh, considering it was about 40 PI down on <laughs> some of the cars it was racing. We head into our final race at the festival circuit. I end about roughly where I started. Uh, in all of this, uh, we're down to six. Number. I, I'm basically driving the car with about seven less horsepower than we started it with. Um, Blakey, I think, has the highest PI of all of us going into this final round. Yeah, with the RX-7. Um, Chris has still got quite a lot of PI with that Jag. I, mean, I feel like this track might actually suit my car quite well. We know it's a bit of a speed machine, which I know is weird, but it is pretty bloody fast down these straights. Um, we know it's an absolute handful in the corners, uh, so it might it might be quite strong here. I'm hoping so. I mean, we recovered some PI from last race, but we were still... I have no idea. I, I, I essentially have no idea. The, the point system, as I said, is not linear as the PI sort of changes are, so championship-wise, it's a lot... gain a lot more for, for winning. Um, races kind of high up, sort of top threes. I don't think I'm... I'm certainly not with a shout of winning overall. Uh, I don't think, unless there's a really weird turn of events here. But we're going to give it our all with this little Renault. I have to say I quite like it. Even if it is an absolute death trap of a car, uh, I do quite like it. Oh, the MX-5. See, I was trying to be a little bit sneaky, but it's always difficult to do. I wanted to cut underneath everyone on the exit of the hairpin there. But, of course, there's so many cars around, it's so difficult to time it. Uh, we are going to be stuck out wide, and that is not really where I want to be with the Renault. Because I just don't have the grip. We've got so much acceleration. Look at it go! But we are going to be on the outside of a three-wide into the final corner, and that is in a car that's difficult to drive. We have to yield at that point. I was hoping we might have cleared Danger Man on the way in. Sadly, we did not, and we have lost out to the MX-5 in all of this as well. Uh, yeah, maybe we would have been better off sort of backing out and going for a uh, slightly different approach. Okay. MX-5 got a big slide on the exit of Turn 1. This could be good for me. Now, Blakey, we know we're not really racing Blakey. That car is a lot faster, a lot higher PI than we are. Um, we know we're not really going to be a match for the RX-7. Uh, we're unlikely to be a match. It's not impossible, of course, but we are unlikely to be. Uh, we can get across, hopefully, and get the place from that Mazda. Now, the Toyota we're going to have to worry about. Uh, that has got a little bit more PI. I mean, I know that's a better, better handling car than I am. It has been all throughout, but we have got the acceleration. Corvette might be one to watch out for as well. Um, it's not got much PI difference on me, but uh, it is certainly higher. The Volvo is not having a fun time around here. It's probably running out of power. It's a lot down on PI, and it was always a good handling car. Uh, so far. Maybe Mr. Checkpoint, I don't know. The Tornado's struggling as well. Uh, that lost, of course, a lot of PI from a victory in the last one. Oh, Speed Beast is going to give up the lead to the RX-7 here, as Blakey will take that one away. Danger Man is having a look to the inside at turn one as well. 
Uh, Blakey's actually running very deep through there, but we'll hold on to the lead, no problem. Uh, we are pulling clear of Gliska. We want Gliska and Longbow to have a fight. <laughs> that, that works for me. We want that. We want that battle. I mean, is second maybe possible for me here? Uh, I think it's going to be a tall order for the little Renault, but uh, we are going to give it a damn good shot if we can. Although I get a big slide on the bridge. Uh, th this is a very, as I said at the start, this is a very different car to the sort of car I would normally end up running, and. It is definitely quick, but it is more difficult to drive. It doesn't have that very planted characteristics that I like from my cars. Uh, Gliska is still holding off Longbow. Uh, we catch through some of these sections. Uh, now, get turned through here. Yeah, this bit of the lap, this, the end part of the lap is where we're so fast. Uh, we are really, really gaining on the two ahead of us. Second's not out of the question here. Uh... If we can get this final corner right, don't try to go around the outside of Danger Man again. Speed Beast has had a wobble, and we've got a lot of momentum here. The little Renault is turning up with a lot of speed. A little bit of flickering from Speed Beast's car there. Uh, it was kind of in and out of ghost mode. Not kind of what you want. Okay, we've had a good run through turn one here, and we are onto the podium now. Can we hold off against that Chevy? I don't know what... I mean, we've clearly got some acceleration on it. Um, we're going to be so much lighter, so carry more speed in theory in the corners, although it will have bigger tyres than I do. I'll be a little bit defensive onto because we're not so great through this first section of the lap. We come a lot better uh, after the hairpin. I think we should be clear of that. Problem is, I really want to go focus on chasing down Danger Man, but I can't leave too big a door open for the Chevy to think about having a look at getting past us. Um, I think we might be clear of it now. We, we're, I'm expecting it to struggle through this next corner. We've only got a lap to go chasing after the 300ZX. Which we, I mean, we all try to do. It's not actually as good of a run for me this time around. Uh, which is a problem. We needed it to all be perfect. Uh, we are slightly further back. Blakey has got this one in the bag, barring any very big unfortunate moments. We get a wobble on the dirt. It's so sketchy doing that in this car. <laughs> it feels like it's literally on the edge of grip there. Uh, we will run it into turn one. Try and carry as much speed as I dare, but again, it's so on edge through there. Right on the limit of what I can get away with uh, in this car. Uh, we are still clear of Speed Beast, though. We may have to defend. I think we're more likely to come under threat from behind than we are to be able to attack Danger Man, sadly. Um, we're just not quite close enough. But maybe Danger Man's car is just a little bit faster. If it's in traffic, I can sometimes make the most uh, of, of... It's really my acceleration. Basically, if Danger Man's in traffic, they lose a little bit of time in the corners, uh, and we can gain, because we can gain ours on acceleration. If they're not in traffic, they can make up enough time in the corners that it's just far enough away from me that our acceleration... I mean, it's still very helpful, but it's not quite enough. Uh, the MX-5 has slipped back. Ollie's had a really, really bad final race. That Volvo is just not working here. So, I mean, what's this going to do with the championship is going to be an interesting one. I almost went backwards into that corner. I was skating that one in. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> this car. This car has been something. It really has. Uh, as we head through the final corner, we're going to get on the podium again. I'm pleased at least about that. Not bad. Not bad for a B-Class car. I think we will be the highest place B-Class car, although to be fair, we were only, <laughs> you know, we're only 5 PI off the top of B-Class. I mean, it's not a terrible performance from us. Gliska did well with the Celica as well, uh, you know, in, in terms of finishing position lap time-wise. It's okay. We didn't quite match the Fair Ladies there for lap time, but we could could still be quick uh, in in all of this. Yeah, the Tornado, the Volvo. The Volvo got to 10th. That could be critical. I think Ollie might have won it. We don't know at the time of recording. We'll have to go to the points table, but well done, Blakey, for winning the final race. Danger Man gets on the podium with the Nissan, uh, and uh, Renault uh, is there too. I don't know what the points table is going to say. I like the Renault. As terrifying, as wacky as it was, I kind of like it. It, was, it had lots of character. So, we are on to our leaderboard, and as a great surprise to me, I actually took victory with the Renault 8. It is unbelievably close in this. I think it's one of the closest kind of tournaments we've ever done. The top eight are separated by just 
eight points. I take victory by one over a joint... Well, I say joint. Second and third, both on 47 points. Ollie will take it uh, on virtue of uh, higher overall finishing positions. Ollie got a first. Uh, first and a second, Rusky didn't quite manage that, but got very close with that tornado. Uh, Danger Man gets fourth with a 300 ZX. Blakey gets fifth with the RX-7 that struggled in places, but uh, scored very highly in the first and final race. So the RX-7 actually ended up a fifth ahead of Ewan's Porsche. Uh, Ewan disconnected in one race and still managed uh, to get up to sixth ahead of Gliska Salika. And then we have Speed Beast Chevy, Chris's Jag, Longbow Corvettes is down in tenth ahead of Amy's MX-5. And Mutes uh, Nissan rounds out the table. I mean, this is... Uh, it's an incredibly, incredibly close session. I mean, this... this style of racing uh, really does, I say it rewards consistency, which is of course very difficult to do when you have the PI of your cars changing. Uh, Ollie's Volvo was unbelievably strong, but by the end of it, when it was down on PI, it was really, really struggling to score points, and uh yeah, the red, I was able to be that little bit more because I had bad races, just my bad races weren't quite as bad as some of the others. And while I didn't win a race with the car, I could still score quite highly. Uh, it's a really interesting challenge, this. Uh, I have to say, I quite like this style, uh, perhaps even more so than the previous one we did, uh, where it can fluctuate up and down. Uh, it is really interesting to see how things go, and as you can see from the points table, it's definitely worked. I like the Renault, I've got to say, it was a good car, not my normal style of car, a bit more... Uh, uncomfortable to drive, a bit livelier, uh, livelier rear end than personally I would normally go for, but it proved quick. It proved quick. You can also tell Carly has found the ability to add text when editing videos, and uh, despite making fun of me, we went on to win it in the end. So, you know, there's that little tiny bit of karma as well, which makes me happy. Uh, but there we go. That is going to be it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching. And until next time, uh, goodbye.